Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Thanks for watching the part one, and this is a continuation of part two. This is um, uh, the 2023 question paper, which is Pen Cafe and its computerized financial systems N4. So we ended up in part one here with where I said these parameters are very important. I said your question paper actually starts here because you have to do all these setups to ensure that you instruct the computer how it must behave on a certain document, how it must print them, how, how the format must look like, what are the code that must be there, the labeling. So if you don't do the setup, it's like you did not create the framework and the foundation of your, uh, of, of your company so it must be done so every time you see the word set up this width because everything here is a setup it's set up so it starts with setup and it tells you what to set up it says doc, uh, customer documents suppliers so it's customer documents less supply so you're going to set up customer document and supplier document and you're going to tell the computer what should be the codes there what should be the labeling of the documents like your invoices your supply invoices, your tax invoices, your debit note and credit note. You are instructing the computer how it must print them, which is very, very important. I'm going to erase that as we go to the next part. So set up is here where you set up the foundation of your question paper of, of your company. So. The first setup there, they said set up the main key things there, it's customers and suppliers. And on customers, it says what? Documents. And it also said supplier documents. So you're going to go in there and then we look at the question paper and see what document we should start with or which one has got more setup to be made. Let's go there. As you can see here, uh, it says rename, rename the debit note document to debit note. So the debit note goes with which, uh, doc, doc, uh, which uh, does debit note goes with supplier or custom. Now you know that the debit note goes with creditors because when our suppliers or our creditors return the document that we use to capture that return is called a debit note so we have to go to supply document to change that and then also it continues and says debit note link the debit note with the correct entry type and also it continue debit note must start with they give you a number dn001 so it's three things to make on a supplier document so you have to go there and change those three things on the supplier document okay we are here on back on our company and then we have to go to there uh, we have to go to the setup supplier documents to change what they said we must change they said the first thing we must change is the return and debit. They say we must change the name. As you can see, I've already changed there. But what you do, you just delete whatever is in there and then you put whatever they want. They said it must say debit note. The debit note. And then they said also what change the entry type. You must note these things. So this one and then entry type. And then the debit note is a return document, so the entry type must say supplier allowances because supplier allowances controls all the returns. And then the other one, they said you must go to next number there. They said you must change that number there. So these are the key things that you said must change. So make sure you don't go to the wrong things like purchases or GNR or so go to the correct document that they said you must change and then change those things when you are done you must just click ok and then move to the next document okay we are done with our supplier 
Now we go, because we did that, we did that, we did that. Now we go to what? A customer document, which will cause us to do three things. Customer invoice must start with the number and then add the following message to customer invoice. Thank you uh, for buying from Pen Cafe. Then we have to do, how many things are we gonna do? We're gonna do two things, the message and the number. So we have to go there and do what they ask us to, to do. Okay, we are back at our com company. Then we have to deal with the customer documents. We got there and then they said what? We need to change what? Most students, they forget that these are all the documents. So you need to set up the correct document. It's quotations, it's all the text invoice, credit note, debit note, receipt. So you go to text invoice and then they said you must do what? You must change uh, you must change that number there. Say you they let's say they say you must put C uh, let's say uh, C C U S T let me put zero zero one for example then you put the message thanks for buying from Pen Cafe you put the message there you type first line and you type on the next line because you cannot type one sentence on one line because the 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 the, the, the field here are not word documents so when you're done with that those two things that they ask you to do the next number of the document because you're gonna get a max when you print this on your invoice and you're gonna get a max for the message those other ones are already been done the text invoice the, the name is already correct and then entry type for customer text invoice is customer general these ones are already set up for you so you move you, you press okay and you go to the next question so the other thing that they ask you to do in the same page watch here they say change the account access of the general journal to any account go to what go to setup entry type so you need to know where to go to and they are telling you here they didn't hide it for you they said go to setup entry type so you have to go there and do that so that uh, your setup are about to be complete so we're gonna go there now to set up entry type we go again set up they say go where entry types and under entry types they ask us to do what this ask us to focus on the general general they said this area here it must say any account how do you change it you click on it here yeah, it's got an arrow drop down arrow and you can scroll up and down you select any account there so it's very important because if you don't do this it's going to give you problems when you move forward because it's very very key to change this then you don't touch anything else you just do this one and then you're done then you click okay then you're done with that part